Hello, welcome back. Here to continue a playthrough of Mass Effect 2. Uh, last time got done with Grunt and Morden's uh, loyalty missions on Tachanka. I uh, got a few things done there as well. There's a bunch of upgrades there that are available. Of course, I am right now too poor to afford anything else. I'll, I'll need to get more credits, do more side quests, and before I can get, go and get those. But for now, I should have uh, a few that I got from the planet. So, I got shotgun damage, and that allows me to get both the, just the basic squad damage as well as shotgun extra rounds. Uh, now, I don't know if there are any more of these uh, weapon-specific uh, squ or squad weapon-specific upgrades, but because usually if there were, they would show up in here as grayed out and it, it would tell me how much I need, but it doesn't seem like that, so presumably all that's left are just flat damage upgrades. Uh, let's see, so I've got Krogan Vitality as well. Got that from Tijanka. Oh, just have enough. So that'll increase his health. Specifically Grunt's health. And... Heavy Weapon Ammo. And if I do this, I think I can get the... That last Heavy Weapon. Uh, 25k Iridium. Fortunately, I have enough for that. Let's see what this does. Uh, effectiveness and efficiency of Mass Effect-based weapon technology has rendered large-scale deployment of highly explosive weaponry all but obsolete in infantry weapons. Normandy scientists have prototyped a modified version of traditional high-explosive rounds that is applied to a 25 gram slug. When accelerated to five kilometers per second, the round is devastating. Though a technically inaccurate label, this prototype weapon is nicknamed the nuke launcher. Ooh. And its high explosive matrix generates an archetype typical mushroom cloud on impact. Inflicts high damage with a large area of effect, very effective against armor, shields, and barriers. Okay, so particle cannon works well against shields and barriers. Says it's less effective against armor, even though it does okay damage against armor. But this is good against all of those, so I'm just gonna give this a try because why not? Why not have a nuke launcher on hand? I hope it's not too limited on ammo capacity. Uh, so I'm going to, okay, so this one was a little hard to use. This one's a flamethrower, decent, but also have to be pretty close. Not as good. Um, this one was decent if it's a, if a little awkward to fire. Also, it's, uh, requires some like multiple targets. Main launcher is just the basic one you start with. Not great. Uh, cold gun, also a little hard to uh, aim and lob the shots. Oh yeah, arc projector, you also had to charge. Uh, missile launcher didn't hit as hard as I would like. Uh, nor did it uh, have as much area. Particle beam has been serving us well. Uh, good at taking down barriers and shields. Very effective against shields, barriers, and armor. Oh, my, my mistake. So it is good against armor. Uh, but a consistent beam versus uh, a nuke launcher. Definitely going to give that a try, though. So. So out of uh, the missions that I have left... I have Jacob and Tally's uh, loyalty missions. 
Uh, Jacob's been waiting quite a while, so I'm just going <laughs> to uh, do his next. Uh, let's see if he has anything to say beforehand. I hope we can clear up what's going on. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. I'm more interested in just talking. Ready? I'm not big on Commander. Okay. Let's see if he has anything to say afterwards. Oh, hey. Uh, new messages from Shaman Erdnot. Damn it, I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're, you're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader. So keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role. But our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your vat grown grunt. Ukir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan. And that's more than most have on this ball of rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves, Shaman Erna. Uh, pleasant. But he seemed he de seemed a pretty cool guy. Uh, Pragia facility update. Okay, so this was Jack's this facilities from Service Intel. Commander Shepard contacting you per elusive man's instructions. I believed you would want to know that he had ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Surface personnel arrived to find all guards dead, along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries given mild amnesic treatments and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. Okay, so they give them like a phony backstory and send them to Alliance facilities. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Uh, um, forcibly retired, I'm going to assume, means they, they had them killed. Uh, per your report, the facility on pra Pragia has been destroyed. Oh, right. I mean, we let off a giant nuke there, I assume it would be destroyed. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay, so... Go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. Okay, so nothing new on that end. Haven't spoken to Joker in a while, just gonna see if he has anything... anything new. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Uh, we've had those discussions and thoughts before. Let's see what Joker has to say. Commander. Mission the squad good old days. I assume everything is going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. I'm not actually mad at them. Uh. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Attitude roll, 35.10, pitch 64.18, yaw 10.28. Interesting, I didn't realize that there was this shutter control that lets you see all that stuff outside the window. 
I guess with one of these you could fly them without being able to see outside because everything is based on your instruments. And finally we head off to help Jacob with his uh, distress call from supposedly his supposedly dead father's ghost ship. Let's see what's going on there. Probe launched. Probe away. I realized the other day when I was doing some additional scanning that although I need credits more than anything and although probes cost credits, uh, they don't cost a whole lot. So still decent to spend money on probes to get more of these resources, which I need anyway. Uh, now I'm just gonna do a cursory scan just to see if there's any more of those anomalies. Oh, nice. Launching probe. Anomaly detected. Oh, Edie spoke up when there was an anomaly, so maybe I can just listen for an anomaly. Okay, so, all right, so I'll go and sometime off camera, go scan planets and see if ED says something about have an anomaly. That's new. Okay.
All right, gonna go off and help Jacob and Alpha Draconis. So we have to Jump scan this. MSV Hugo Gernsback, registered. Launching probe. I have found something. All right, here we go. Supposed ghost ship. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Jacob's definitely coming along. He's got concussive shot, armor piercing ammo. Oh no, that's scarce. Inferno ammo pull field. So I need someone who can get rid of shields, preferably. I might bring Zaid along because he has disruptor ammo. Or Oh, she has warp ammo now. That might be used. Might come in handy. I do use disruptor ammo uh, interchangeably with inferno ammo, so I'm gonna put my points in there. So we got one point and five points here, which is enough to get damage against health, armor, and barriers. Okay, so I, I can be the shield disruptor, I guess. I am okay with what I have. Gonna try out the mini nuke. Carnifex, let's change this to phalanx. And phalanx and eviscerator, right. Kind of a tropical looking planet. I have run a scan of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. Saving. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Hmm, I wonder what kind of enemies we're going to face. Possibly mechs. Going to turn on both of their ammo abilities. I've got them both on the shotgun right now. It's fine. I'm just going to turn on disruptors for myself on my weapons. 
Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it stops. Hmm. Very staticky, garbled message. More credits. There's a VI beacon. Alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Yeah, that long? He's screwed. Yep. Now I'm kind of glad we brought Jack along. Uh, let's see, we got... I think we got everything along the way. Ooh, the mini nuke. Putting the shotgun on incendiaries. Okay, just gonna save it and we'll go. I'm wondering if uh, Jacob's dad maybe ingested local flora and got went crazy. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters, they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were, they were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! 
Okay, so it sounds like they might have created a sort of survival civilization for 10? Almost 10 years, wow. Uh, but presumably as the captain he was the leader, but something went wrong along the way. And so now he has a, he sent out a distress signal. This is the difference maker where just a little bit of damage, like a sniper rifle damage upgrade would be the difference between a one shot and not. Something is very wrong. Credits. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. See what's going on. No fight from these guys, but they've got the same uniform as the others who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. If they were violent, I'd have killed them. But the woman on the beach said hunters were exiled. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Um, did his father kind of like take over trying to become the leader of this survivor group in some strange way? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Um, yeah, let's just start talking to people, see what they know. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Oh, boy. <laughs> what the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. He keeps us protects us and we please him like he demands uh oh the hunters will kill you they fight because he exiled them and waited too long he is bad 
He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Not much of a captain if he's got to kill his crew to keep him in line. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Reddits. More credits. Excellent. Please, here. You have his face. When you fight his machines, you might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the best. Actually sounds kind of like downright awful person. Sorry about your father. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Oh man, he just went... Oh, megalomaniac control there. Anything in there about whether the effect of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. The signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard, I don't see any justification. Yeah. Also, the whole assigning women in groups to each of the officers is, like Shepard said, is like, is that as bad as it sounds? We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Uh, maybe he himself got inadvertently affected by eating toxic food or something. Oh, oh boy. Okay. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. 
That one corpse is old. A warning. The others are fresher. Maybe a month. The hunters started fighting back. Trouble incoming! No shields! Let's do some more over here. Sorry about that. Got a little sidetracked. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Okay, so that's where I came from. Came through here. This way had some resources. Heavy pistol. This looks interesting. Heavy pistol damage. Okay, good. people away. This thing is not my father. Coming. Combat drones. <clears throat> Come on over.
My bad. Got a little distracted. Hello, dear In real people. life. One sec. Okay, and we're back. I've got Shield to fail. Okay, so here's a drone. See what the, the the old nuke can do. Uh, whoops. Oops. Yeah, I should really deal with those guys faster. Let's see if I can hide out here. Now it's trying to bring out the big nuke. Hmm. Maybe the nuke, the little, is a bit much. Uh, let me see if just nuking this whole area works instead.
Well, that didn't work so well. Maybe if I can find a, some sort of cover to shoot from. Moving to cover. On it. Up front. Waiting for my health to recover. Now where's the mech? There it is. That thing just has a huge blast radius, I guess. Okay, so no no more of that. Hello, dead people. No more experimenting with the, the tactical nuke. So I just messed that up, but know what to do now. Okay, gonna go this way. Incoming. Enemy drone. Switching to disruptors. with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to be able to justify it. Find him out zero. Ooh, that was a that was a rough section. Uh, mostly self-inflicted though, so not too bad. 2400 credits. B. 
Field is clear. This tactical nuke, I'm doing something wrong, I feel like. Because you have to be really far away to use it, I think. Is that him? Uh, hang on. Ronald Taylor, right. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? Who are you, exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. Oh, there was resistance to the plan. Is this you guy know, hobbling over? We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples, but I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Until you needed someone to save your ass. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Renegade, I'd shoot him. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Uh-oh.
that's a that was a little bit of a strange detour. So okay, we got survivors from IAEA are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional service support. Please to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Okay. Uh, another power for Jacob. So bar he gets barrier, right? A uh, new outfit for Jacob. We got heavy pistol damage, credits. Good amount of credits, 27,000. And some elements here. They get as much as a glint, and you're restricted to decaf. Great, may as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Oh, suggestions? Come on, we've got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. He, he's all right. Not, of course, not perfect, but like, seems decent enough person. Let's see if we can get some of them upgrades. All right, that little bit of palladium farming paid off. More pistol damage. Okay. So after that, that showing, ugh, hate to do it, but mini nuke, you're going back in the, the locker. Particle beam, just the best, okay. Okay, now I want to see if Jacob has anything else to say. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this We'll later. talk later. Commander. Oh, guess not. <laughs> guess he's done. Uh, I haven't talked to Grunt and Morden since after their last mission. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. 
fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions, or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. Hmm. Interesting. They just have, they just kind of, they get emotional, but passes quickly, generally. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Oh boy. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent... Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a Having minute? trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay. <laughs> well, he's as sunny as ever. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. Back from female camp. Erd not Darg. Dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember how much of what happened, but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Whaler camp. Okay, so this was the scout that got captured. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into blood rage or something. <laughs> I got to go to the female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. We're not dark. Scout second class. Okay. Maybe he sees a little more value in being in the Erdnot group. to talk to a few more people. See if Thane has anything to say. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few Not questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. Okay, so the, that's done. John Hanner, imagine. There's something else I've like Have a few minutes to talk. Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erica, the Hanner let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erica was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target. Forcing me to move faster. Challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. 
My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. Okay. Glad well, there's a little bit of resolution with him and his son. Hey, Shepard. Aw. It's always nice to visit Kasumi. She's nice. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Great. Kasumi's such a cool character. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. There's a lot to of do, course, Shepard. Shepard. Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me the about the weapons upgrades? Have been, it just might give us a chance against the collectors. If the Cerberus crewman, I give think me being part of the team. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Uh, I'll be here if you need me. Calibrating. Still calibrating. So I need to talk to if Samara has anything new. How do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team and everyone is committed. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. Uh, okay, cool. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a specter. Oh, fought a specter. Why did you fight a specter? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council. Hey, it's Nihilus. I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Torian and a good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Fair. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morith to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town. 
making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the Collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. No, oh, I wonder what those captive slaves turned into. That was a long time ago, presumably. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. I always like talking to Samara. And lastly, let's take a quick visit to... Not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grant. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Shepard. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the void takes them. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? You already know more than he did. Okir's is barely useful. If you fight them, hit them hard the first time. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Just checking in. How you doing? The humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Well, at least he's feeling a little better. That's cool. Uh, Tally is still waiting on her loyalty mission, so I'm gonna leave that. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Hey, she's just keeping it real. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. 
What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Yes. Freaks you out, doesn't it? Leave me alone, Shepard. I don't want this. You're lying. Don't tell me what I feel. I've been here before and I know what I need. For me. Go away. I don't want you coming around here for a while. Okay. So. So you're telling me there's a chance. She. She said that she didn't want us coming around here for a while, which she didn't say never. Kenny, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. What can we do for you, Commander? Will do, Commander. Talk to Tally after her mission. And finally, to see if Zaid's got anything new. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Collectors and Protheans, it's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Sure thing. Okay. Alright, so got Jacob's father out of a weird survivor. Weird episode of Survivor, sort of. Uh... Okay, so now we will be heading to Tally's loyalty mission next, presumably. I don't know if I'm... I feel like I probably missed out on that last squad member at some point, but whatever. Okay, so we'll be doing Tally's mission next time. So in the meantime, thanks for watching and have a good one.